name is Liz Richardson and I'm the director of OTCES. I'm here outside of our OT clinic located at 131 West Gray Street. JMU's Occupational Therapy Clinical Education Services is a clinical program that offers OT services, specialized group programs, and resources for families. We're now outside the clinic. OTCES began providing services in March of 2010 and moved to our current location here in July 2010. Welcome to the clinic. This is our waiting area here. OTCES is in part supported by the Institute for Innovation in Health and Human Services and the College of Health and Behavioral Studies Dean's Office. And our current team consists of Cindy Colwell, who's our clinic and volunteer coordinator, Julie Patrick Bonham, who is our clinic supervisor, and myself, the director. The first room that we enter is the play center, and that's where we work with children on gross motor skills and coordination through group games, bike riding, and a variety of other movement activities. We also have a tent over here that provides a quiet, secluded place for children who might get overwhelmed with um, sounds and um, a large group of children. So our next room is the sensory motor gym. It provides opportunities for children to get their sensory needs met. And the primary systems that we are addressing in this room are the vestibular system, which is our sense of movement and where we are in space. The next system is the proprioceptive system, and this system is giving us an awareness of where one body part is in relation to another body part. Third system that we work on is the tactile system, and that is our sense of touch. Another thing that we do is obstacle courses, so that a child can work on problem solving, sequencing, and following instructions. Next on our tour is our IPAC area, and the reason we call it that is because once a week we conduct the Interprofessional Autism Clinic here, but we also use it on other days as a quiet space to work on seated activities. Here in the kitchen we work on all kinds of skills. We might work on feeding, which would include managing utensils or drinking out of a cup independently. We also work on basic hygiene skills such as washing your hands. Another thing might be um, more independent skills. As kids get older, we'll work on um, learning how to cook, learning how to do their wash, put away groceries. That can also involve a lot of social participation, learning how to work together. Another program is the interactive metronome. And that program is based on the traditional metronome, hearing a certain tone and trying to time certain movements in uh, coordination with the tone that they're hearing. This area is specifically set up for the students who come and they're either completing volunteer hours or they're doing their internships or what we call field work. We call this area the teen suite and we call it that because we set it up so that it might be similar to some place that you would find kids just hanging out. We wanted it to be a place that would encourage discussion, a place where kids would work together. We call this room our speech room and that's because sometimes we do provide speech services here at the clinic and it also is another area for us to work with children on more quiet types of activities that might require sitting at the table. This is what we call our stepping stones room and this room is great for working on quiet activities. It has a lot of natural light so that if a child is overstimulated by lights or sounds, we can bring them in here, shut the door, reduce the amount of auditory stimuli, and turn off the lights. It's great for working on tabletop activities like coloring, drawing, arts and crafts. We also are able to provide them with some adapted equipment as needed to help them calm. That's the end of our tour. I hope you enjoyed it. For more information, visit our website or give us a call and come visit us soon.